book of Enoch, I believe, as well as Jasher, how Noah cried because he could not open the door to the ark because it was sealed from the outside and no one else could get now. We hear the accounts of this right here. Now let's go uh let's go into verse twelve. When those who dwelt on earth began to multiply, they produced children and people and many nations. And again they began to be more ungodly than were the ancestors. And when they were committing iniquity before you, you chose you chose from yourself one of them whose name was Abraham, and you loved him to him only, you revealed the end of the time. Secretly by night, you made with him an everlasting covenant and promised him you would never forsake his descendants, and you gave to him Isaac, you gave Jacob and Esau, and you set apart Jacob for yourself. But Esau you rejected, and Jacob became a great multitude. Now, in the book of Asher, I just want to pause right here. In the book of Asher, you will see why Esau was rejected. Not because of him being the firstborn, that he came out first, but he disobeyed the commandments. And he did not want to give himself over to the Most High and learn the law, statutes, and commandments. You will see this in the book of Jasher. That's why it's important that you must read the book of Jasher. Jasher is mentioned in your King James. Open it up. I challenge you. Open it up to Joshua chapter 10, verse 13, and you will see Joshua talking about the book of Jasher. Was it not that uh, Joshua was supposed to uh, uh, and study uh, read and study, meditate on the word day and night, for you shall have good success. Well, he know the word. And one of the books that he read, because he told on himself in his own book, Joshua, that is this not mentioned in the book of Jasher? Well, if he said that, he had to read the book of Jasher. So don't let anyone tell you that it wasn't inspired by the Most High. That is a lie. Moving right along, let's see. And you set apart Jacob for yourself, but Esau you rejected, and Jacob because a great multitude. And when you led his descendants out of Egypt, oh, look at that, look at that. You know that's Jacob's, de Jacob's descendants. And Jacob became a great multitude. And when you led his to Mount Sinai, you bent down the heavens and shook the earth and moved the world and made the depths to tremble and troubled the times. And your glory passed through the four gates of fire and earthquake and wind and ice to give the law to the descendants of Jacob, not Esau, Jacob, and your commandments to the posterity of Israel. Let's go here and this uh, entitled The Evil Heart. Verse 20, yet you did not take away from their, them their evil heart so that your law might bring forth fruit in them. For the first Adam burdened with an evil heart transgressed and was overcome, as were also all who were descendants from him. Talking about everybody in the mic. The disease became permanent. The law was in the people's heart along with the evil root. But what was good departed, and the evil remained. So the time passed, and the years were complete. And you raised up for yourself a servant named David, and you commanded him to build a city for your name. And in and in it to offer your offer you obligations obligations from what is yours this was done for many years 
but the inhabitants of the city transgressed in everything doing as Adam and all his descendants had done, for they also had the evil heart. So you delivered the city into the hands of your enemy. Let's entitle this, and this will be our final before we get to ch uh, chapter 4. We're going to uh, complete this Babylon compared with Zion. Verse 28. Then I said in my heart, are the deeds of those who inhabit Babylon are better? Is that is that why she has gained dominion or Zion? For when I came here, I saw ungodly deeds without number, and my soul has been many sinners during these thirty years, and my heart, and my heart failed me. For I have seen how you endure those who sin, and have spared those who act wickedly, and have destroyed your people and have preserved your enemies, and have not shown to anyone how your way may be comprehended. Are the deeds of Babylon better than those of Zion? Or has another nation known you besides Israel? That is a question he's asking. Or what tribes have so believed your covenant as these tribes of Jacob? Yet their reward has not appeared, and their labor has borne no fruit. For I have traveled widely among the nations, and have seen that they abound in wealth, though they are unmindful of your commandments. Now therefore weigh in a balance our iniquities and those of the inhabitants of the world, and so it will be found which way the turn of the scale will incline. When have the inhabitants of the earth not sinned in your sight? Or what nation have kept your commandments so well? You may indeed find individual men who have kept your commandments, but will go into Uriah reply, God's way are incorruptible, inscrutable. Uh, and that will be in chapter 4 of the fourth book of Ezra. And we're going to do that back on Friday when we come back. And we're going to do that, and we're going to read that, and we're going to get into the anointing and read the praises of the Most High God. We'll be right back after this music break. And uh, got a couple of announcements to make and let you know what's coming up. And we'll be right back and we'll close it out. When I say Hebrews, I mean myself. Praying, because I can't redeem myself. So, They say the Bible man made so they don't need it in their life But if they fall, if they jump, they will take flight Your life and the way you go about it ain't right, you ain't tight They don't think Christ came in the first place So to return, they don't think twice This word is not of own interpretation Second Peter 120 as you need it blatant my people can't love cause they used to hate it. They can't give anything cause they used to take it. They screaming where he at cause they sick of waiting. But when you check in the mail, you just sit patient with and tell your boss man to pay you before payday. So Christ ain't gonna come just cause you screaming mayday. You ain't even doing what you really supposed to. So when he do return, he ain't coming back for you. He might ignore you cause he never known you. If you think this man made, then you hell bound. A fool says no God. If you think this man made, then you hell bound. Psalms 14, 1. If you think this man made, then you hell bound. Psalms 
Psalms 14, one of fools says no God. All I see is food and power and they rule. Treat us like a tool, toss aside never to be used in the shed will be bled. Eight the year's church, I call it Satan church instead. That's the devil trick that make you think he don't exist. We ain't living rich, we got the curse and not the gift. But the fall made us stronger. I pray we find a better way to grow. But there's only a little ways to go. Overall, Israel did good. Living in tribulation, no other nation could. So you would be a fool to say there's no God. I pray you do not choose the wrong side. My path narrow, yours wide. My eyes wide open, yours blind. So I'ma keep it rocking till the end comes. And then some. Well, if you like great music like that, you definitely want to join me along with my co-host, Sister Fire Harris, on Saturday Night Gospel Jam, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on the one and only Block Talk Radio on your Block Talk Radio network. We are the men empowered, powering, empowering men and sisters right here i want to say brothers and sisters but i kind of got tied tongue a little bit the music is flowing here the word is flowing here and it's all good got some announcements to make i just want to let you know we are here saturday night gospel jam 10 p.m central standard time as well as we're going to begin on monday believe on wednesday it's let's talk the apocryphal book we are in the book of toby and on Friday, we go back to the fourth book of Ezra, and we do it all over again. And we go on Saturday, Saturday night gospel jam. I just, whoa, when I'm, when I'm flowing, I'm flowing. Just want to let you know that if you're looking for truth, it's right here. But if you're looking for truth on a deeper level, I want to uh, highly recommend you check out the website at www.gatheringofchrist.org. That's gatheringofchrist.org, also known as GOCC. And for a higher knowledge, which I am a former student of the Hebrew Academy, you want to, if you really, really, really want to study, if you really, really, I mean, really, if you were with me, it's like got my hands all fitted together. If you really, I mean, it's like fasting. If you really, really, if you, if you really, I mean, really, really desire miracles, you will fast. But if you want to learn, and, and and how can I describe of knowing what I know today? I took a leap of faith, and I said, well, look, let me get deeper into this. Let me find out what's going on. We're not playing church, folks. We're not playing church. This is truth to the highest. You can't get I miss unless you with the Father. Woo! And what I mean by that, I mean you already done gone. You done left the earth. That's what I mean. But to have this type of knowledge you can't find in church. Ain't no church, secular church, what I'm, how can I describe it? Now, if you understood fasting, if, if you heard my testimony of fasting, how my mom got set free uh, from anxiety and sickness, uh, oh, wow, I, 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 I tell you, it's, it's, it's hard to describe. Uh, but getting close, I mean, getting real, real close to knowledge. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Well, the opposite of that is if you have knowledge, you survive. You will not perish.